Okay. Yo. Ace and Viz. Yo. One extra. Yo. We're in London right now. Yo. Representing the UK. Huh? Nationwide. That wasn't Ross. <laughs> But it was someone from oh. the same crew as What's Rick that? Ross. What's that? He's been smashing it for a while now. Yeah. I mean, the UK fans are quite familiar with you already, man. It's where you started your journey. I feel you started your journey. We've got Wale in the studio. You guys, you guys helped make me the person I am today. So for that, I'm here to say thank you. Wow. So, so back in the day, man, you rocked out with like Mark Ronson. I Danny. still rock with Mark. You though. still rock with How yeah. is Mark Runson? Good, good. Heard from good. him in a while. performing at the Royal Ballet. It ain't what you think it is. I ain't wearing no tutu. <laughs> nah, 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 nah. I'm just bringing the hip hop element to the Mark Ronson experience like I used to do. And my man Black Cobain is going to be doing some of them gigs as well. So we're going to make a movie. What's it like when uh, you and Mark are in the studio together? It's like two people that from completely different worlds. Yeah. For the common goal of like the the eardrum, you know, the, you know, we, we we like to make good music. We don't really talk about how different we are. We just make sure we make the best possible music. And he's one of the best, best, hands down, best producers I've ever seen in my life. Yeah. How did that all come about? Because I remember you from years back, you know, doing shows in the UK and stuff, hearing your name floating about. So, how comes you kind of did a lot of work in the UK to start with? Um. It's a, it's a more, they, they appreciate the genre more. They respect it more. It's, it's a little bit more pure here. Mm. You know, they're, still, they're selling Big Macs and stuff with hip hop in the States. <laughs> so, <laughs> I mean, it is what it is, you know, and people just respect like what's good out here. Like they like what they like, you know. I've got to be honest, you're, you're now part of one of hip hop's most powerful families. Yeah. And a lot of people didn't see it coming. Let's keep it real. Yeah. Let's keep it 100. Uh -huh. A lot of people didn't see Maybach music being at the top of the food chain. We are definitely, you know, one of the you know, more relevant uh, entities in hip hop. What, That's what's a politically correct way of saying we running rap right now. <laughs> what's the family like? What's it like working with the family? It's cool. You know, you, 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 I wish I, I wish I could just see our conversations. Like, we all got different personalities, and it's, it's what makes it fun. Like. Sometimes, like, you know, I, me be like, man, I'm about to drop 20 grand on this watch. And I'll be like, dog, you just bought one. Like, just put some up. He's like, nah, man. I know, I, know, I, knew I just bought the ghost. Man, let's drop 15 for the table at the club. I'm like, yo, let's just think about it. You know what I'm saying? I'm talking about, I'm talking like somebody who has an album on his belt, you know what the fast money's like. Like, mm. and me, like, man, let's go. You know, and I, I need that energy. And I think he needs mine as well. And then you got Ross, like, the OG that's just like, you just see how he move, you know what I'm saying? See how people look at him, and it's like, that's how, that's what we work hard for. Well, um, like, did Ross find you, or did you find Ross? How did that, how did that hook up? It was mutual, for yeah. real. Like, my contract was up with uh, my previous uh, situation. Well, not even up. <laughs> Me, we had an amicable split, myself and Interscope Records, and uh, Ross found the, the, found the opportunity to go, you know, draft a, a number one pick, like, you know, or two of them. So, uh, me and myself and Meek, so. You know, we were. I think those were the good picks for him. We've seen time. we've seen some MC sign to artists before, and it just hasn't gone right. right. Do you know what I mean? Um, were you ever nervous about that signing? Nah, to, uh, you know like why? Rick Ross and y'all can quote me. Mm. He's the most selfless person that I know. Like, wow, he's very selfless. Like, he doesn't. It's just like let's go. Like my man. Like he don't mind like coming to my show and just be in the back. Like you know what I'm saying, chilling. Like there's not many CEOs that would do that. You know, yeah. and like, there's a lot of egos. I had a number one. My first single was a number one um, from um, from um, Ambition. Like and it was just like it was no ego. He's like man, yeah, let's get another one. Like and he's tweeting about. I'm I'm sure within the past ten hours on Ross's Twitter, you can look at it right now. He's tweeted about myself, Meek or Stally or Gunplay. Wowzers. I hope he's and, tweeting about this show. And he's selfless. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so uh, Ambition, I've got to be honest, before you even released the music, the title caught me, man. Got yeah, me in the heart. Uh, you know, yeah. when you was on the internet talking about I'm ambitious and everyone else should be ambitious and, you know, you just want the best for this album and yeah. your whole situation. Have you grown up ambitious? Yeah, I mean, Have you always I, been ambitious. It's, just, it's the hustle mentality. I just think even y'all, like, just being black people in a society, like, where it's just already hot. You black already, your skin dark, you already, like, got certain things against you. Like, no matter what, you already going, the lady's going to cl clutch your purse tight when you walk down the alley. Your cat's going to be hard to catch a cab. You already got that. So to even make it, uh, y'all got highly coveted jobs. Mm -hmm. A lot of people, it's a rat race to get to where y'all at. So Respect. it's the hustle. Mm -hmm. It's the hustle. Like, just like me, y'all know 
what I had to do to get y'all don't even know what I did, but like y'all have an idea because y'all went through it to get like a, in a highly coveted position. You know what? We had um, Rick Ross on the show a couple years back now. Yeah, a couple of years ago. Yeah, we put him through his paces, man. We you know we made him play football and stuff live in the studio and stuff, and we asked him the question. What would you be doing if he wasn't rapping? Mm -hmm. And he, his answer was, I would be a dealer. <laughs> Everyone can interpret that however, which way they want to. What would you be doing if you wasn't rapping, Wale? What would you be doing? Certainly not a dealer. <laughs> <laughs> um, I'd probably be, I'd be probably be like, I'd probably be doing something in sports, maybe an agent. I heard you was I'm, nice. Uh, might have had a three year career going in yeah, the NFL. You're man. being I'm modest. Just, I'd have got out before my knees <laughs> gave out. <laughs> but I'd still be playing right now. I'd be, you know, I'd probably be in like my fourth season right yeah. now in the NFL. Wow. That's, I mean, what is, is NFL, is rapper money better than NFL money? Let's talk about that. <laughs> Man, <there's, laughs> well, no, 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 you know what? Well, you know what? Let me not, because rap is, 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 is limitless, you know? Okay. Look at Diddy. Look how much money he hustled from being a rapper. Mm. So rock, you don't even look at look at Dr. Dre. True that. You don't, you don't even worry about no album coming out. You're doing your own clothing line as well, though. You're following those footsteps, right? Oh, we got a little right? something coming for you. I'm gonna send y'all some product, you know, down the line. Yeah. Is, we doing hats. We doing hats. Okay, sure. right. okay, definitely. Um, we had your mixtape as mixtape of the week. When was that like last year? Um, yeah, I mean, late you, last year. Late last year. When it comes to mixtapes, you, I mean, you got a healthy catalog. Yeah. You put one out every year, right? Yeah. It's what? quite, it's quite uh, stressful, you know. It's just like it's not the easiest thing in the world to do. Like, I don't rap songs to rap them. All my songs are directly about something. So, okay. I'm, I, now I'm starting to find different ways to say some of the same things that's been said in hip hop, essentially. Well, I mean, what's the difference between being in, in mixtape mode and being in album mode? Like when you went in to make Ambition, how was it different from when you went in to make a mixtape? Ambition was like blood, sweat, and tears. Like it's like every song, stay in the studio all day. Like just go obsess over. Mm. <laughs> um, mixtape is free Like you know We ain't really uh, I don't That part didn't sound uh, Whatever Just mix put it, it out Just put it out <laughs> Sorry, Let's get this thing Let's get the show on the road Ambition It's crazy uh, We commend you on that Thank Definitely you. What can we expect From Self Made 2 Really What can we expect A lot of classic Wale verses You know This is from, 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 A lot Like a lot As far as That's what I'm providing Like I'm giving you The, the punchlines The wordplay And the, ooh Ah you heard that Rewind that Like that is Self Made 2 a competition between nah, the Maybach no, it's members? Just, it's, a, it's a competition <laughs> uh, uh, for my last one. Because, you know, we we made the last, like, real relevant compilation in hip-hop. So, um, you know, we want to top that. Is it true that uh, Chris Brown uh, directed Slight Work? Yep. The video for Slight Work, which is popping off right now worldwide. Um, why did you choose Chris Brown to direct this video? How did that come about? I wanted them down. I can't dance like him, so I wanted to, like, make the cameras <laughs> appear to be, like, dancing like him. You know, I, I just think with a, with, a, with a song like that, you gotta have somebody who understands what high octane like performance looks like and like quick, quick cutaways and dope uh, uh, art and all that. He just he just embodies that. Like he's a stylish person. He, he knows how to you know he knows what an artist want and out of out of his video. And it was super organized. It was I had a great time. Yeah, not a lot of uh, hip hop artists can say they've worked with Gaga. Mm -mm. I mean, what is she like? In, in, is she because she scares me she is a very intense uh, person but she's a perfectionist and I can respect any artist that's a perfectionist could you get down with Gaga which is what it's worth with her <laughs> he said what do you mean would I <laughs> <laughs> you, you would she, I take care of that if she you know, you know whatever like you know did you, you know try? Did you no, try, I try that? Try though. I'm a You gotta wait for openings. You know what I mean? Yeah. Uh, so the opening <laughs> didn't come. Yeah. Now ain't no opening. It wasn't. It wasn't easy. And I don't like the. I don't like implications. I would rather just make, write it on the paper what you trying to do. All right. <laughs> I don't, wanna, I feel I don't you. need that Tupac charge, man. I feel you. All right. So you did the show last night. Crazy feedback. You got another show tonight. Yeah. Um, what was it like for you? They all, man. Everything since I've been across the water been perfect. All the shows. All of them. Mm. Last night I party too hard though, so I'm gonna bounce back. From <laughs> You're that. partying with Drake. That's a Drake. dangerous combination, Drake, man. Drake, Drake, we just kept taking shots of different colored hard liquor, so I know is you know I gotta I gotta bounce back. I need to take I need a real good meal and nap. You know, so we are gonna thug it out. Uh, Young Money, MMG kind of link up. You guys seem to be like uh, all friends. I mean, is, is there any rivalry between the two camps? Say while he's joining people. I just want to be rich like Wayne and <laughs> Frost. <laughs> Jesus, those guys are so rich. Nah, but, um, nah, it's just, you know, you see what it looks like to be successful, you know what I mean? And um, I see that with Tunchi and, uh, and, and Rosé. Like, they, they just, 
they, they in our generation, they some of the most successful rappers. You know, it's like next to Jay, you know, obviously like the guys that are in that elite, the Jay Z, Eminem category. Like, they just, you know, they. Be, I want, I want what they had. All right, so we're gonna let you. Uh, we're gonna let you slide now. You're hungry. You want to get something to eat? Yeah. Are you feeling the cuisine here? I just in I the want UK? some African food. You're, from, the, you're of Nigerian descent, nobody's right? Nobody's pointing me in the right direction. Were, were your parents always Mark, down? What's going on, man? Yeah, we're gonna. Hold Where's your up. parents from, Mark? Ghana. 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 Okay, we got two Ghanaians. See, I'm Nigerian food. No. I, see, that's my next. That's my next. If I, there's no good. Nigerian food around I'll do the Jamaican food I feel like that. Jamaicans and Nigerians are related <laughs> yeah and Haitians too cool. and Haitians too we need to just have a big family reunion everybody yeah. I don't feel close to Ghanaians I've got to keep it real I've got to keep it real it's something about the Jamaicans and Nigerians I love them but they seem a little like, oh, not, come on Wale I don't know come on it's all good one nation you know shout out to Ike Corte though <laughs> You know? <laughs> were, were your parents always down with you being a rapper, being from... Never. They were, 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 were they, you know you did this one. <laughs> I bet they still do that. Yeah, this one. <laughs> when, when were they cool with it? When, when what was the, the point? Money when, when the in, money came, they were down. silence any African parent. <laughs> if it's clean money, they won't bother. They don't... There's no issues. Just, oh, wow. Are your parents rolling through the...